Practical Session Strangy Ladies Terker List Strangy Ladies Terker List is a human pathogenic parasitic nematode or roundworm causing the disease called Strangy Lydiasis. In this session, we will learn the morphology of the Strangy Ladies Terker List worm, both in parasitic and free living forms. The parasitic form is four female adult of Strangylitis tercarolis. Strangylitis parasitic females can be observed in the small intestine of infected hosts. Female measure 2,500 micrometer in length and 40 until 50 micrometer in breadth and are transparent. The small female worm is equipped with a short buccal cavity that has four small lips and a long and slender esophagus. The anus appears mid-ventrally and the posterior end is extremely pointed. The females are ovoviviparous. Each female lays up to 30 until 40 partially embryonated eggs per day in the mucosal epithelium of the intestine of human. The free living form for female and male adult of Strangylitis tercarolis. Free living adult female. The free living adult stages are approximately 1 mm in length, with the female slightly larger than the male. Free living female nematodes have uterine at the posterior end of the nematode containing more eggs than the parasitic females which have their uterine located more equatorial. Adult male Adult male is shorter and broader than the female worm. Adult male has no penetrating power and remain parasitic in the lumen of large intestine. Males differ from females by possessing speckles and gubernaculum. The eggs of Strangylitis tercarolis the typical Strangylitis tercarolis egg measures only slightly smaller than hookworm eggs. Eggs measure 55 micrometer in length and 30 micrometer in breadth. The eggs are thin shelled with hyaline, transparent, and oval. An egg contains two, four, or eight cell stage or larva ready to hatch. As soon as the eggs are laid, the reptidiform larvae start hatching and bore their way to the lumen of the intestine from where they are excreted out with the feces. The larva of Strangylitis tercarolis is of two types. Reptidiform larva, L1 and L2, Villariform larva, or L3. The reptidiform larva is also known as L1 and L2. The first stage larva which immediately hatch out in the mucosa of the small intestine. Actively mortal, measuring 200 until 300 micrometer in length and 15 until 16 micrometer in breadth. The filariform larva is also known as L3. The larva is longer and more slender measuring 630 micrometer in length and 10 micrometer in breadth. The larva is the infective stage of the parasites. Diagnostic test for Strangylitis tercarolis Strangylidiasis is difficult to diagnose and stool examination with conventional techniques sometimes fails to detect the helminth larva. First, microscopic stool examination methods. Standard stool examination include direct smear, or wet mount slide, Behrman, and Koga agar plate method. Direct smear has less sensitivity compared to Behrman funnel technique or Koga agar culture. Direct smear or wet mount. Behrman funnel technique. Koga agar plate. Secondly, serological method. Serologic tests such as immunofluorescence antibody tests or IFAT, 
Enzyme Linked Immunosorbent Assay or ELISA and recombinant strongylitis antigen with luciferous immunoprecipitation system or NIELIPS tend to have a better sensitivity, however, also more expensive. Another method is molecular tests. Molecular tests such as PCR and RT-PCR are currently show promising results with nearly 100% specificity and very sensitive. The left picture shows PCR results of PCR tests, while the right one is the results of RT-PCR of strangulitis starkerlis. Hyperinfection cases can be diagnosed by examining stools, tissue, and body fluids, which usually contain a high number of infective larvae. Hyperinfection cases can be diagnosed by examining stools, tissues, and body fluids, which usually contain a high number of infective larvae.